Welcome back to the channel. I haven't made a video like this in a while. I just wanted to do a walkthrough of the store. I'm going to show you all the stuff I use to digitize home movies, give you kind of a rundown of the entire setup and how everything works. Let's go check it out. Got some labeling on the window there. I'm probably going to change that. I kind of copied. Got memories a little bit with that. That's a good idea. But let's check it out. When you walk in, it's kind of like a little video store in here, but just kind of my little cave, little fun cave. I got some posters on the wall. I got Back to the Future, one and two. And then I have Bottle Rocket, Chasing Amy, Ocean's Eleven, and Die Hard out here. I do have a little bit of a Kevin Smith collection here. And I just have like a, my VHS collection out here. It's not super crazy collection. A lot of them were just tapes that customers brought in. But I've got my Dragon Ball Z collection. And then some VHS tapes that I like to watch. And I'm using my Canon 5D Mark III right now. And it's really not made for video. Also a huge fan of Jones Soda. I actually have a few of these. I need to add some more bottles to that box. I do know that some of my viewers are Jones Soda fans, and we'll see more Jones Soda stuff as we go on. But so far, this is kind of what you see out front. And I've also got a little display here with a few cameras I can point to for customers and this and that. There's actually a piece of tape hanging down there I need to take out. That's not supposed to be there, uh, but it must have fallen from the holding the lights up but just some kind of a cool little display when you walk in you got a couple of stools out here so me and the customer can sit and talk when they come in all right we we'll walk through the curtain here we got my uh, main setup here for every I'm mostly set up with Panasonic players all stereo machines on this shelf and they're all ran into the computers using Elgato video capture, which is just a really good budget um, capture card for what I'm doing here. And just it just works. It just does a good job and works really well. But these are all stereo machines. Up top, I've got some machines here that are connected to these three CRTs. It's a mono Panasonic. We got a Super VHS player and a Sony stereo machine as well. And these all have counters on them and I use them kind of to test tapes, make sure that they're, they're um, blank or finished recording. And so it's just good to have a couple players that are hooked up to CRTs just to reference stuff. And that's what I do with those. But those are also rigged up to be used on the, uh, the bottom shelf as well. Working on a uh, VHS tape job in the store today. Kind of finishing up for the day. But, you can see it's coming through on this computer and it's also coming through on this CRT here. I got these monitors for a really good deal from somebody re um, was doing a van life conversion to an old news van and they were selling everything inside of it. I really wish I would've just got everything from them, but at the time I didn't have a lot of money, but I was able to pick these three monitors up, and they all work great. This CRT is a DVD player combo, or no, it's just a DVD player TV, and I use that to test all the DVDs that I make. All right, so yeah, I got my VHSC uh, adapters and a Betamax player there. And I'm having to manually, manually focus this too with no peaking, so that's kind of hard. But yeah, a bunch of boxes and just storage on the bottom. And stuff I need for labeling and this and that. Little workbench here. Just have my light hanging out, charging. There's also a light here for me to work. That's super helpful. Got uh, some boxes from other companies. So you can see here, this cable is just ran all the way around to this player because this player stopped working today 
So I just started using this one just to keep moving. More mono players up top. Sometimes it's just nice to have um, a few different options when you're going through. A lot of these tapes will show some time based issues um, whenever. Matter of focus. A lot of these tapes will show time based uh, issues. Um, and it's nice to have a bunch of different players to try the tape in. Usually, if you have a, you know, once I try a couple of different players, that I have at least one player that's going to play the tape fine. But I'm constantly maintaining and cleaning these. This player here is just hooked up to this TV so I can watch a movie every once in a while. And then a couple extra players here just in case I need something to work with. Over here, we've got a MacBook Pro that the screen went bad on. And I didn't want to spend the money to replace it. I just bought another computer instead. And then now I'm using this with a thrift store TV that I paid $20 for and it works perfectly fine. It's kind of my main computer for finishing each job. It's a pretty powerful laptop. Um, I think it's an i7. So it's it does good work with all the SD footage I'm working with here in the store. So right now you can see I'm doing a, a, a rather large export from Final Cut on a video that I had to piece together. I've got a couple DVD drives here. One, two, three. In case I need, in case I need to uh, burn DVDs and this and that. All the way up top here, we have all my mini DV cameras. Got a you know a couple GL twos, XL ones, XL twos, GL ones, um, some Sony mini DV as well. I got a H, a couple of HD, HDV recorders cameras there too in case someone has HDV mini DV tapes another GL2 XL1 pretty cool cameras really expensive back in the day and then down low got some cleaning supplies here and hopefully this tape this footage is all in focus enough to where we can watch this because this camera is not the best for recording video but we've got some different Sony Digital 8 cameras and then we have some Hi8 and Video8 cameras set up for use and they're all ran into the VCR above them and then that VCR is ran to the Elgato and then the Elgato is ran to the computer and I can switch through them just by using these channel changers here so this tape is finished so we'll stop it but I can switch through to the, to the camera or switch to through the other VCR above it in case I need to try the tape in multiple players I can do that on each setup so this player this camera and this VCR are all ran into this Elgato same with this one this one this one and all the way down the line, everything above it can work with the computer below it or the camera below it to the computer above it. We have a bunch of extra Digital 8, Hi8, and Video 8 cameras down here. Mostly Digital 8. Just stockpiling those for all the work that I know is going to be coming over the next few years. Here's another mini DV camera that I keep down there. Some customers will have two or three mini DV tapes, so I just leave one camera hooked up. And if I need to go mini DV, then I'll just move these cameras and grab them as I need them. And I'll set them up down low. I've been getting less and less mini DV in lately. And then as we turn around here, I've got another workbench where I've got some cameras I'm getting ready to work on eventually. And a customer's order here. And her, her order just happened to be come with a VCR that I have to look at as well. I've got some Geneva tape cleaners here that I like to use um, for dusty tapes. Not so much moldy tapes, but for dusty tapes, those do a great job. I've got three rewinders set up for VHS over here just to rewind and check out tapes before I put them in my VCRs. And I also have three 
eight millimeter height digital eight rewinders here as well and a little puffer you never know when you're gonna need that this is the current job I'm working on just a bunch of VHS tapes from the 80s and 90s there down low I've got this CRT that I use to test uh, cameras and stuff on the bench here I will be using it in one of my next videos to try to test this VCR out I've got a TV ran to a camera on the shelf pointing forward so I can record videos when the customers come in I always ask the customers if I can use them in the YouTube video after the fact if I think it's worth making a video off, off of some uh, Kodak and Betamax fun stuff up there over here I've got kind of a assortment of working players kind of non-working players and just kind of players I don't really want to use at the moment maybe I'll use them eventually got some Betamax machines that need repair one day I'm gonna find a, a good repair guy and I'm gonna give them all my broken stuff and have them repair it but until then this is kind of the only storage I have in the store right now another TV to uh, test stuff with over here is just a couple projectors that I don't use very often it's more for me to play with um, but if I do need to do Super 8 sound film this is kind of the place that I do all that at it's not set up right now obviously because I haven't had Super 8 fil sound film in a really long time but I just transfer Super 8 sound the old way using a sound projector ran into the camera and then I just use a uh, a tele screen video converter thing there just with a mirror to do it I've got a little break spot little TV over there not using that much but it is nice when I do need to just tell myself to sit down and then here is the shelf that I put all the orders on and as they finish they go down towards the bottom these are all customers down here that just haven't picked their order up for whatever reason but they have already paid and they're already closed out and then all this stuff is the stuff that needs to be picked up and paid for and then this is the orders in order of which I need to do them so I'll be doing this one next then this one then this one then this one and then that one once I'm finished with what I got going on now I've also got some lights in the store nothing crazy and who knows if this is in focus or not but it is a Amaran 60 by LED light and it is bicolor and it works pretty well then I've also got another one up top on a C stand that I can use and swing it around fairly easily all you have to do is loosen this guy up and you can swing it around to wherever you need and that's super helpful and this stand is a uh, just great stands it's got a sandbag on it so it doesn't come over and you can see my kind of all my power strips for all that stuff and then over here is kind of my film setup now it's just the Kodak Reels machines I don't do a ton of film through here but my customers are happy with the quality that comes out of these machines and so am I they're very easy on the film very easy to use very easy to replace um, and I can use them for a lot of different things 8 millimeter super 8 they actually do work really well if you know what you're doing and with a little post processing they look really really good so um, you're gonna have to do post processing with film anyways so that's fine yeah kind of uh, messy in the store I need to clean up but this is it I've also got some like old cameras and stuff I have a, a DVC Pro camera up here that I've only ever had to use to do a transfer once and I haven't used it since and then I've got this uh, kind of uh, I use this for cleaning film hand cleaning film coffee pot microwave you know basic stuff there here's my VHS cleaner gonna have to bring it out soon for the next one of the next jobs because it's covered in mold 
But yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I transfer home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, give me a call. Check out the website. See you in the next video.